So there's my picture. Now, I'm actually not quite finished yet because there's one last question. What am I being asked for? I mean, you know what the word me is, but what does it mean? What, is, what are you asked for when you ask for range? Yeah, you're looking at y values. You're looking for how high do I go, how low do I go, okay? So when you have a look at this guy, you can see the highest value is up here. We just, we just plotted that. So the y value is 15. What's the lowest value? We started off with this earlier. Yeah, it's negative eight. There are the coordinates there, okay? So being that that's how high I can go and how low I can go, it's not a bad um, thing to say. Okay, I'm between negative 8 and 15. That's not a bad way to answer the question. But, there's just one caution I want to give you. This is a piecemeal function, right? So it's got all these holes and gaps. So you can quickly, you can picture, like suppose I just changed these, um, these values a teeny bit. I could easily have graphed something like this. And you can see, just by changing those values, not only do I have gaps like this, but now I've got a gap in the middle, like that, and I've got another gap over here, right? So if this was negative 8, sorry, that should be an endpoint, and this is 15, in this case you can't just say you go all the way from negative 8 to 15. Do you see that? Because these guys are not part of the range. These y values, you can't, there's no x value you can put in to get those y values. Do we have that problem here? In this case, you're lucky, we were well, not lucky, we, we crafted it so you wouldn't have to worry too much about that because you can see there's this overlap, right? Every y value, if you took, say, a ruler, every y value between negative 8 and 15, you can find somewhere that the graph intersects, okay? So therefore, this, our original answer, is fine, okay? But just because you start down here and you end up there, that doesn't mean all the values are in there, okay? That would be a curveball that we would throw at you if we wanted to see if you understood what range really means, okay? Yeah, read me. For this guy here? Okay, so let's make up some numbers so that we can actually state something here. It's a good question. Um, so let's, let's say that most of it was just like the original question. So let's suppose um, this was down here at y equals negative 8 and this is y equals 15, okay? In order to state the domain here, sorry, the range, I need to know where everything starts and ends, okay? So because this is a question I just made up and drew, I'm gonna just make up some numbers. So suppose this went all the way from negative eight up to say negative one, it picked up at one, went up to two, and then picked up at three, okay? Now I've made this as awkward as possible because everything breaks up. So I would say from negative eight to one, and I'm, sorry, negative one, and I'm inclusive because I've got the endpoints there, so that's a part of it. But in addition to that, I have to say this, and I have to state it separately. So I would have to say, um, or one, y to two, and I don't have my boundaries there because they're hollow circles, or three inclusive to 15 inclusive. So that's a bit of a disaster there. But really, the reason why you've got three portions for the range, it's not that crazy. It's because you've got three portions for the domain. And that could totally happen. I just need to tweak the numbers a teeny bit. Okay? So, just to rewind, what does it mean when you got asked to evaluate something but you get this mess? Well, you have to look carefully and see for this value of x, for this guy, which one of these is the you know, is the king, is the one that I should actually be defined by. Have a look, evaluate appropriately. When you're asked to sketch, just go one at a time. Don't be intimidated by the fact that it's a long question. Each individual bit is very simple. It's a parabola, it's a straight line. It's a different parabola, no big deal. Uh, and then lastly, remember what range means. What are the y values where actually it can exist? In this case, everywhere between here and here is fair game, okay?